Lesson number three, size bias and understanding. This lesson can be used at the beginning, middle, or the end of the school year. Before doing this lesson, it is extremely important that students are comfortable with themselves, their classmates, and creating good questions around bias and personal identity. The response from this lesson is absolutely amazing. Students love media coming into the classroom. Having them able to analyze what they notice and what they are regularly watching on TV is special. Instead of just watching and listening for enjoyment, they are now taking things from people that they care about, analyzing it, using it as something that's content-based, and using it to better themselves, to understand culture and personal identity. After reading and watching specific things on weight and gender, students quickly realize how the media can portray certain identities and certain ideas about how a person should look and what they should be saying in the media. They should begin to look at media and see what they think is the idea of the perfect person. The overall idea about this lesson is that students now take media and no longer take it for face value. They now take everything that they're listening to and they watch and they're now analyzing it for different biases. They start to share them out loud, ask questions, and they're now more informed of what the media is all about. For this lesson, I ask that you have some sort of video or article on shows similar to The Biggest Loser or any type of weight loss show or identity show that shows people in specific light. You first have to watch the video or read the article as a group, individually, or all together. Ask students guided questions that you should have prepared leading up to the lesson. Questions may include, what are media's perception on weight? How does the media affect your idea of what weight is? What can be done at school to make our lives more inclusive? What solutions can we use to solve this problem? The overall benefits from this lesson include inclusion, awareness of self, and the people around you. It also allows students to take a deeper look at the media and not so quickly be convinced that the media is correct on the things that they portray to everyone on the outside world. Thanks for watching. Remember, it takes more than one lesson to be culturally responsive. Peace.